Hi everyone, so today's video is in the sewing studio. I have got a lovely little challenge uh, from Felicity Fabrics who I am one of the bloggers for. They have given us um, like a fun challenge and we have to work with no more than one and a half meters of fabric that they've kindly given us what we've chosen our own fabrics and we have to include some piping as part of the challenge. So I've had a little bit of a think and um, I thought I'd share with you what I've chosen for my challenge, the fabrics, show you the piping, show you what I'm going to do and hopefully you can follow along with me in a kind of behind the scenes, another behind the scenes video of me sewing and creating. Quite a lot of it's just off the hoof. I've never stitched with piping for a long, long time. I think the last time I stitched with any piping was when I was back in school, so a long time ago. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to this challenge. So hope you'll enjoy watching me create a cute little number. So I have got this gorgeous fabric, which one and a half meters from Felicity Fabrics. It's this gorgeous viscose. It's got daffodils on it and little white daisies and different shades of greens, absolutely gorgeous. And originally I got some, the challenge is that we have to include some piping. So originally I got this like sunflower yellow piping to go with it because it actually picks out the daffodils, the yellow and the daffodils. But the more I look at it, I think it's a little bit too bright. So then I've got this off-white cream version. I think I'm just going to use this instead. And the plan is to add it to the skirt of the poppy pinafore which I'm going to make but I'm going to be making the shorter version of the poppy pinafore pop a picture up of me wearing the brown corduroy shorter version so I'm going to be um, making that so that's the shorter version there so it just comes to like hip height so the plan is to cut the skirt into two sections and then add the piping along like three quarters down on that join and then also to add some piping on the button placket or just add the piping around the waist so I've got piping there and piping piping there if I've got enough maybe finagle the button placket so I can add some down the back so it would be the piping would be down there and then down there so I'm gonna to have to create a separate button placket to sew on so I can add the piping in the join so I'm gonna to have to do something like that so that's the plan so that's the plan so there's the pattern pieces there's the front back front tiny little peplum skirt so that's all there is I'm just gonna make some binding um, for the arms and the neckline and uh, yeah add this pipe in so hopefully you'll just enjoy watching me have a little play and see what I create hopefully I've got enough so let's see So that's the back cut out, but I haven't ha added the placket, but I've added the seam allowance to add the placket to. So that's the back. Just going to cut out the front, which is on the fold. 
and then fathom out the placket. Hope to make something technical when it's not. Right, so there are my button plackets to add on. Hopefully I'm going to interface them and let's get rid of them so I don't get confused. Now just to do some bias. So now I'm going to cut two extra hem bits because I'm going to add the piping on that hem. Tidy up, so now I've got the skirt front and back and the extra hem, so I'm just going to pin everything together. Too long, I'll take some off the skirt because obviously, I'm adding another 
eight centimeters on the length which i don't want it to be too long so i'm going to chop off a bit i might do it now actually i'm just going to get the uh poppy pinny for so there's my brown version so let's obviously that would be the version see that's a <coughs> centimetre roughly hem roughly so by adding that it's going to make it a little bit longer obviously might trim off a few centimetres off the skirt machine and do a bit of uh, batch sewing. So that's my join. Not bad. First attempt of ever putting piping in. Got to start somewhere. So now I guess I can add my bottom section right sides together and yeah it should look quite good so let's see if we've got the fabric the right way up again i think that's the right way up so let's join at side seams Sew it and turn it through. I'm going to get that effect. So it's looking good so far. So I'll just pin it all the way around and then stitch it and then turn the hem under and then overlock, overlock the hem edge, turn the hem under, press it, sew it and then do two rows of gathering stitch and then that will be the bottom skirt done and then I'll need to tackle the by uh, we'll call it bias the piping for the button plackets at the back love a challenge I cannot believe it's the first time I've ever worked or well, that I can remember of working with using piping so it's good to try something new. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so it's all pinned. I guess I have to stitch so I can feel, I'm just guessing, with the presser foot up against the piping and hopefully that will work out quite nice. So back to the sewing machine. Right, so I'm just going to overlock the bottom edge of the hem and then that's done while I'm here. And then I can press up the hem. thought this is going to go really nice with uh, I've just made a white Nell t-shirt it's going to go really nice underneath this I think right give it a quick press press the hem and then um, no nope, while I'm here I'm going to do two rows of gathering stitch and I'm just going to leave my piping I'm just going to leave that foot on it won't harm because I'll need to put it back on again for the button placket I'm just going to press under two centimetre hem. And then I need to overlock that section where the, the two sections have joined. And I guess press it upwards. See what that looks like? Hmm. Right, saw the hem and then overlock those raw edges and then that's the skirt section finished. I think I need to change my thread. I don't really want white. But I don't think I've got anything that matches. be the one. So that's what it looks like. I think it looks quite nice. So 
so I just need to give it a press. Right, so that's the skirt done, so I just need to work on the bodice section now. So the placket right side to wrong side and that would flip over and then I would have the edge of it folded over so the placket is sitting on the outside and then I would have my piping this is the theory showing down the back that's the theory so I'm going to store the so these first and then I can get gauge where I'm going to put the pipe in. So I'm going to sew right side to wrong side. Right side to wrong side and I've included the centimetre seam allowance on there and also in the bodice pieces so it should still fit the same. So, that's right, and then I've still got my notches to put in, I've got a seam allowance to fold over there. Okay, so this has got to be literally stitched on the notch line. So if I stitch that onto there, and then when I come to put this on, fold this over, that should sit neatly. Like that. So it should look something like that. We'll do this side first and if it looks good then I'll uh, finish on the, do the other side by my scissors. Hopefully now when I fold this over and top stitch it should just be nice and neat and it is. Well that was a sheer fluke let me tell you. Oh, that's worked out pretty well actually quite pleased with that okay so there's one side pretty good let's just do the other side so I've already got the button band on so I can't remember what I did now pressed it didn't I So do exactly the same again. So saw so the piping lined up with the notch. And then saw the button band down. And then when the fasten, you should have the cute contrast piped on the button band at the back. Right, back to the sewing machine and I'll just sew this 
all again. So there, both of our pieces are so. So now it's time to add the front to the back. So I'll just press the darts. I'm just gonna saw the shoulder seams and the underarm seams and overlock them and then it's time for the binding so I'll just quickly sew the shoulder seams and the underarm seams so now it's time for the binding So I'm going to add the binding and I like to add my binding right side to wrong side because I just think you get a neater finish when you're top stitching it because you're top stitching it from the front and then you can obviously control the stitching and it's always neat on the front so I'm going to start right side of the binding to wrong side of the neckline you do your top stitching and you've got control because it's on the front and you can see and it obviously is going to be much neater than if you stitched it from the back and you're just like guessing where it's going to show on the front so this is why I prefer to do it this way so I'm just going to tuck in these edges I'm just going to top stitch close to the edge, a couple of millimetres from the edge and that will be the neck binding done and then do the arms. Right, armed bindings all pinned on so I'm just going to quickly sew the binding on the arms. the arms got the binding on and the neck's got the binding on I've chosen for it to for the binding to like to show rather than being underneath uh, quite like that effect so 
that's what I've done there. So now it's time for the buttonholes. Next, I'm just going to just do a, a row of stitching, just tack, just you know, just a, a row of stitching within the seam allowance, just to keep the plackets together. Just stitch across there. So all I have to do now is sew the buttons on, but I'll do that last. Just add the skirt to the bodice. So I've already got it pre-gathered, uh, pre, you know, running stitched. So I'm just going to literally gather, attach it to the bodice, and then that will be this cute little number finished. So there we go. There is the bottom added to the bodice, and there's the piping and the piping on the back. I've just got to add my wooden buttons to the back, cut off all my loose gathering threads, give it a quick press, Go and take some pictures, do a bit of twirling in the garden and uh, yeah, I love it and some pictures, I'll add some pictures too and there will be a full blog post as well over on Felicity Fabrics where all the bloggers who've all taken part in this challenge adding some piping to a project so you'll be able to see what we all did and what we all created and how we used our piping and what fabrics we all used. I have no idea what the others, what the other bloggers got for their fabrics. It's all like a surprise, like a secret. So I have no idea myself as I'm filming this. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me in my sewing studio today. And I uh, hope you liked my little creation and watching me work for the first time for a long, long time with piping. Thoroughly enjoyed this. Actually, I've really enjoyed this little challenge. And it's also tested me a bit as well, which I like. I like a good challenge. And uh, I shall see you on my next video. But until then, happy sewing, everyone. <laughs>